Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Mark Berti, and in case you guys didn't know, we recently hit 4,000 subscribers on the channel. We are on our way to the big 5,000 subscriber milestone. So I definitely want to thank you guys for all the support and helping me reach this milestone. And in hey, this video, hey Mark, do you want to learn some of the secret income streams you can use to make more money from your books? If so, Dale has you covered in this video. He's the guy behind Self Publishing Dale, which is an incredible self publishing YouTube resource for anyone who's looking to expand their self publishing brand. Dale joins us on this channel, so definitely subscribe to him if you enjoy this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to me on my quest to 5,000 subscribers. Anyways, Dale, take it away. Hey, thanks, Mark. I really appreciate you having me on here, folks. My name is Dale L. Roberts. I'm a best-selling author as well as a self-publishing advocate that wants to show you how to publish books that sell. And today we're going to talk about five secret streams of revenue in self-publishing books. Let's start it out with number one. Now, this is a given. It's other books. Yeah, so if you got a backlog of books, you're going to sell even more books. And if you're just starting out, you're probably going, well, that's easy for you to say, Dale. You've got an entire backlog that you can kind of push within each one of the books. Well, let's go ahead and start it out with the very basic of make sure that any product, any kind of book that you're putting out, you have it available in three versions, being ebooks, audiobooks, and print books. There's going to be different audience type that's going to be consuming your product. For instance, there are some books that I would prefer sitting down and reading the print version of. And other times when I don't really want to be bothered with sitting down to read the entire book, I would rather have it on audiobook so I can listen to it when I'm on trip, uh, going somewhere, or maybe I'm in the gym working out. So just keep in mind that you need to have three versions. Don't be lazy on this one. Ebooks, audiobooks, and print books. Number two, affiliate marketing. Okay, so if you're not familiar with affiliate marketing yet, let me just break this down. I was sharing this with my mother one time, and this is the best way I could explain it. You go to the movies, you enjoy seeing a specific movie. Let's say I just went over and I saw the latest movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it. It was fantastic. You go and share it with everybody. Oh my gosh, The Rock was so awesome in this movie. I, I, I just, you gotta go check it out. And then they go and check it out. Now imagine that that person goes and checks out that movie, and when they go and they buy it, that ticket sale, you get a portion of the profits on that one. It doesn't affect your friend who went and got the movie and uh, you get just a nice little kickback. Affiliate marketing works in the same way. If you've got a product or a service that you believe in or can stand behind, what you do is you get in touch with that specific company and they will set you up with a specific link that you would drive traffic towards. So um, you want to kind of think about this. All right. What are your favorite products, services, brands, or companies. And essentially, go online, do just a simple Google search of that product and affiliate, and just hit enter. And you'll most likely find a ton of affiliate programs. At first, it's gonna seem a little bit overwhelming, but once when you get into the game, you're gonna find that it's going to reward you tenfold in the long run. Number three, video marketing. Okay, so you're, I'm saying to you, you need to do even more work. Well, yes and no. Uh, so you've written the book, you've published it, and for those of you that are nonfiction authors out there, this is going to be simple for you. For fiction authors, it's going to be a little bit harder. But all that to say this, that you can start to build assets in video. So this is a great example. Here on YouTube, you can do something. And what you can also do is get monetized to the YouTube Partner Program where it pays you for running ads on pre, mid, or post roll, meaning that it's gonna put it at the beginning, the middle, or at the end of each one of your videos. You can also you know, build more awareness of your books and it's the simplest way, keep in mind that to publish videos here on the YouTube uh, platform, it doesn't cost a dime. So that's just free traffic coming in to buy your book later on. And uh, then there's of course the whole thing of affiliate marketing. There's a good reason why I've kind of laid everything up in the order that I have, is you're able to direct people over towards the products and services that you have. So let's just say that you don't want to put any affiliate links inside your book, which is totally cool. You can always send people over into the videos that, of course, if you're in the YouTube Partner Program, you're going to get paid for the ads and you can send people on over to your affiliate links. And you can send them over to your books, so on and so forth. There's, you know, really very few limits when it comes to this.
Now, if you're like Dale, I really can't see doing YouTube. There's always a platform that's known as Amazon Prime Video Direct. And you need to Google this one up. It's essentially like Amazon's answer to YouTube. It's a little bit more buckled down. There's a couple more restrictions, like you can't really promote any kind of products or anything else like that. But you can upload some videos, let's say just talking about you know, what your expertise is if you're a nonfiction author. If you're a fiction author, maybe you read some passages from your book and you upload it there, or maybe even have animation based on your specific fiction book. You get what I mean? But essentially, you are paid per streamed hour through Amazon Prime Video Direct. It's a nice little passive income that will reward you in the long term. And as well, it starts to build your brand as an authority in your specific niche. Number four, speaking gigs. Oh, now this is one I learned from Kevin Cruz some time ago. Uh, Kevin actually always recommends if you're a non-fiction author, and I even suggest if you're a fiction author, that you place a call to action in the very back of the book. Now, putting in the front might be kind of putting the cart in front of the horse, but if you put it in towards the back of the book, this will work out. So what you'll do is just tell people about your availability and willingness to do speaking gigs at say conferences or workshops or even one-on-one. -on -one. You may have to set up say an email that people could reach out to you or even get like a Google number that would be your business number that would uh, send it on over to your own phone and then you can kind of, you know, conduct business through that way. Don't overthink this portion here. Honestly, it's just one simple page just telling people, "Hey, I'm available to do a speaking gig, or you get a little bit of a big bonus banana sticker if you actually put inside there that you have a specific type of talk. Now here's what you want to do with that talk is relate it to the actual book that it's published in. So if you've got a book about crocheting, then you can always put a speaking gig that's uh, 10 ways to monetize your crocheting business and that that is going to be your speaking topic. Uh, that's probably a random one. I don't know if you want to do that. Bonus tip, create a media kit. Now, you're probably saying a media kit. Oh, no, no, wait, hang on a second. It's actually a lot sexier than what it sounds like. Essentially, it's going to be just like a downloadable sheet of some sort that gives a little bit more information about you. It's going to include your headshot. It's going to include your bio, any kind of, you know, specific accolades that you've collected, uh, maybe even like links to your books, your videos, uh, all that type of stuff. Any relevant data that's going to help make you look more like a rock star. And you can make this over at something like canva.com. It's 100% free. You would just put it into a cloud drive, get it available. And anytime someone reaches out to you for a speaking gig, you're gonna shoot it over towards their direction. Before we do get to the final tip, I think it's important to note, actually, Mark was just on my channel and we actually talked about how to increase your Kindle ebook sales should you grind it out or not? And actually, Mark dropped some serious 411. I'm super appreciative of that. You wanna take a look at the link inside the description down below. Go visit that, show us some love. If you actually come in from Mark's channel, make sure that you drop a few banana emojis inside the chat. The community will love you for it. And number one, sponsorship deals. Oh boy, this is massive. I'm gonna tell you that when it comes to sponsorship deals, this right here, could be the thing that will change your life. It's going to add additional revenue you never thought you could do. I want you to think the next level up because you could publish books, you can get affiliate marketing deals, you can get videos out, you can even get speaking gigs, and maybe those speaking gigs will lead to five-figure you know, speaking gigs eventually. Um, but with sponsorship deals, this is kind of nice. If you already enjoy a product or service, here's the beauty. Sure, you can get an affiliate marketing deal, meaning that you'll just get a small percentage of all sales and traffic that you go that direction, but you actually will give prime placement for specific companies and services that you really enjoy. This really works out when you start to grow your audience a lot larger. You've got more of a backlog. Maybe you've got a big YouTube channel or a social media following. And if you like a service and you've got the clout to kind of back it up, you can reach out to these specific companies, brands, or services and say, hey, I'd love to talk to you via video chat. Don't just do your negotiating through email. 
get them on video. The, you can build a better connection with these brands when you are meeting eyeball to eyeball. Remember, people are going to trust other people that they can see the whites of their eyes. So if you wanna land a sponsorship deal, make sure you get with them. As far as how much you can ask for, it remains to kind of be seen. It just depends on where you're at in your specific journey. Uh, you just got to kind of think, what do you bring to the table and how can you help elevate someone's brand? What do they stand to gain out of it? And then you can kind of pitch a specific uh, amount that you would work for a sponsorship deal, be it you know a month long one or maybe a one time occasion, or maybe if you just listed them inside a single book, it can make a huge difference in your life. Of those five secret streams of revenue in self-publishing books, which one resonates the most with you and which one do you have a big, big question about? And while I still have your attention, hey, make sure you come over and join me at youtube.com slash selfpublishingwithdale where I share even more of these ideas and concepts. Again, thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate it. And folks over at Mark Uberti's community, I appreciate you. Dale, thank you for coming on the channel and sharing your great insights with all of us and self-publishing with Dale. That's his channel. We will have a link in the description so you can subscribe to him and follow everything he's doing. And if you are a first time person on this channel, I definitely invite you to subscribe as well because we've got more self-publishing videos on this channel, on Dale's channel. So basically a lot of really awesome self-publishing content. Anyways, signing off. What I want you guys to do is to dream big, achieve greatness and unlock your potential today.